hospital is the place people go when they're sick or injured. It's not somewhere they expect to actually get hurt. But that's what happened at Erlanger at Hutchison earlier this year. James Benson walked into the hospital and started shooting in a waiting room. Benson later turned himself in and eventually pleaded guilty to killing his wife and mother-in-law. That incident served as a wake-up call for hospitals in the area. Tonight, one of them held a drill so that employees could know how to handle themselves and their patients if something like that happens at their hospital. News Channel 9's Drew Balea was there. Drew? Hey, Calvin. Some say the best way to learn is by experience. And today's drill was the best way to get that experience without all the danger. Don't be alarmed. This is only an exercise. The door will only open about halfway. But what if this were to really happen in a hospital? How would the staff respond? Get back in there. Do you have the code to that? Administrators at Parker Geist use the shooter scenario to answer those questions. We're going to try to work with all of our partners, EMS, uh, police, uh, and the hospital staff to see how well we manage that so we can better develop our program. Tammy Crowder followed the action, taking notes and pictures as the scenario played out. We talked to the nurses and they knew exactly what to do, which door they were going out, which patients would go first. They had a plan in their head. Crowder analyzed the situation in real time. The thing that we did the best was communicate. She also found ways their response could be improved. Surveillance. We didn't have really good eyes and ears until it was already in the middle of it. We went, wait a minute, we've got a camera. You should have been faster. Get me in there. Administrators say the created crisis will fix the small issues and sharpen staff instincts. Uh, to help develop uh, procedures and policies and tools that we can use to, to better respond when situations like this take place. Thank <laughs> you.